All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a, I don't know, we'll call this a Ranko update. I don't know what we're going to call this. It's not Hot Joe and the Ranko Show. It's not Coffee with Chickens. It's just an update. Okay, guys. Um, so, I did a get home bag, and people really responded to that, and they were... Actually, a lot of people sent me messages and and said, hey, is a get home bag, a bug out bag, back and forth. And I said, well, it kind of can be. I mean, a a get home bag and a bug out bag, you're going to have a lot of similar items. There may be some stuff. So if I do a bug out bag, maybe I'll do it. Generally, for me, bugging out is not a, it's not something I'm going to do. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to defend what I have and, you know. Come hell or high water, I'll be. You know, I'm gonna be right here. And um, but all that fun stuff being said, there are a lot of people who have asked me, "Well, how do I get prepared and how do I stay in my home?" Well, this this channel obviously never started out to be a prepper channel, but I I'm an Eagle Scout. I'm Order of the Arrow, so. I hate the word prepper, I'm going to be honest. I like the scout motto, be prepared. I don't like prepper. I think prepper is just this thing that got created, but I like the fact of be prepared. So if you come in my house, you're like, hey, do you have Band-Aids? Yeah. Do you have alcohol? Yeah. Do you have whatever? In fact, I went camping this weekend with a bunch of my buddies from high school. (laughs) Anytime somebody was like, hey, I don't know if we have this. They'd be like, hey, I bet Rankin does. Boom. Be prepared. It has nothing to do with a foil hat wearing, whatever. It has to do with being a good member of society and actually protecting yourself and taking care of yourself. So in this day of we manufacture products just in time to get to distribution and then just in time to get to the store, well, obviously we are seeing right now that our supply chain is rapidly falling apart. It's falling apart. Um, 18 months ago, you could get a shipping container for around $3,000. Today, they're $29,000 a piece. That's an empty shipping container from China. $29,000 or $3,000. That's unsustainable. We know that. Go to Costco right now. Last time I went to Costco, no U.S. rice. There was some India rice there, um, and they were putting limits on water. So Costco, being a huge distributor of goods, that's scary. That scares me, right? So do yourself a favor. Go to Target tonight. Get in your car right now. Go to Target and walk up and down the aisles. Because in my lifetime, and I'll be 52 in December, I have never seen in the United States of America shelves that were empty, that you could not get products, and when you ask the people at Target, they're like, we don't know. So, what I'm asking you to do, if you want to get prepared, don't be a hoarder. Do not go in somewhere and just grab everything you can get and throw it in your basket, okay? So that's not going to help you. You need to get the things that you like, that you depend on, that sustain your life. But everybody's going to be different. But there's dry goods, canned goods. If you're going to start preparing, you need to know what to get. Dry goods, canned goods, things with high protein, things that have a good long shelf life. Um, Some of these products that are sold by some of these websites that are like, yes, this food has a 25 year shelf life. Okay, that's that's great. Um, But some of them taste like garbage and they're not very good. And there's a lot of videos. I mean, go out there and look at all the videos on dehydrated food. Now, when I go motorcycle camping and do the tat and stuff like that, absolutely I take dehydrated like Mountain House and um, 
stuff like that because it's easy, right? It's easy for me to use it. It's easy for me to rehydrate it, cook it, whatever. Uh, but for long term, I would say like get sardines, oysters, uh, salmon, rice, dried beans. Um, I mean, there's just there's endless get extra vitamins, any medications that you current. I currently don't take any medications, but if you take high blood pressure pills, see if your doctor will give you an extra supply that you can put away in case the supply chain goes down. Because as we saw, like during COVID, we couldn't get um, we couldn't get antibacterial wipes because they all come from China. And you're like, what? We couldn't get a lot of medications because they come from China. So you you need to be prepared. And, and, and the part for me in being prepared is if society collapsed, that's terrible. And But I will have food and, and ammunition and guns and, and whatever to defend myself and, and hold my position. Um, but I also get prepared for the fact that I mean, we had an ice storm. It knocked out some power for a little while, and and I'll do. I'm going to do some other videos on some of this. I have a, uh, I have some solar generator um, products. I have some solar panels. I have some 12 volt refrigeration things that are actually sustainable. Because I mean, I have gas generators, but the fact of the matter is, at some point, gas will become non-existent so that generator will just be a paperweight the sun comes out every day and if you have solar and have a way to harness that you're going to be ahead of the game now the sun doesn't come out we got a whole different we got a whole different ball game everybody's going to die because nothing grows and you know whatever but again i'm not mr aluminum foil hat wearing super prepper my thing is i want to be prepared natural disasters people freaking out and wanting to buy toilet paper and as far as i know i'm just going to give you a little secret i'm going to get in there real close covid had nothing to do with your butt so I, i'm not sure why toilet paper <laughs> just covid get toilet paper i don't know i'm just gonna be honest with you i'm not sure why that happened um I, on this channel, don't want to promote, hey, you're a Republican, you're a Democrat, you're a liberal, you're a... I don't care about any of that because, to be honest with it, I think our political system is completely broken. <laughs> completely broken. We don't have rational thinkers. We don't have people who actually use thought to do stuff. That We have tribalism, and that's where we are today. So... If you're a complete liberal, you can watch this channel. That's fine. I love you. If you're a right wing nut job, I, I'm fine with that too. Um, I try to tell people try to stay in the middle if you can. Just do whatever. Okay. I just I just believe that all the tribalism we're involved with right now is splitting up our country, and it's disgusting personally um be nice to people and they'll be nice to you and i have friends who are far left i get along with them i have friends who are far right i get along with them what i don't appreciate is when tribalism crosses the line okay everybody who knows me and is a good friend of mine says hey man i know that dude he's got a good heart he he'll come to your rescue in the middle of the night if you're the biggest right wing dude on the planet or you're the biggest left wing dude on the planet if 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 I care about you and you're nice to me I'll, I'll I'll take care of you but what I cannot stand is when either one of those people who knows me who knows me very well says that I'm either this or this or this it's like no I'm ranking that's who I am judge me for who I am alright so I know I've been rambling it's we're almost at 10 minutes on here we're going to talk about in the next couple of episodes how to get prepared and it needs to happen pretty soon 
if you go to the grocery store in the next couple days, next couple weeks, pick up a couple of extra cans of what you would normally get, um, prepare for your family, get some extra medications, um, some extra medical supplies. If you have animals, pick up that extra bag of dog food, pick up chicken feed for me. Um, just be prepared for supply chain issues, okay? Because uh, like I said before, when you go from a container costing $3,000 to $29,000, this isn't an America problem. This is a nationwide or not a worldwide, not nationwide, worldwide supply chain problem. So not trying to freak everybody out. Please leave your comments down below and like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. We're going to, I'm going to actually start shooting out a lot more videos here in, in the future because I've kind of laid back just to watch what was happening, but I'm getting ready to get a lot more involved. And as my pops used to say, you can't soar with eagles if you hang out with turkeys. All right, guys. I love you. Have a great day.